Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Intro music, intro music, intro music, do 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 do. Hello. So today is going to be my thoughts on the holidays because there are several holidays coming up. Uh, we just had Halloween happen a few weeks ago, and that marks the start of the holidays, the holiday season, as it is called in you know colloquial terms. So we've got Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's and Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and all of the other holidays that happen in November, December time. Um, and I would like to talk about my thoughts on specifically uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's because those are the three that I choose to celebrate. Congratulations to you if you choose to celebrate different ones. I'm happy for you. So let's get into my thoughts on the holidays. So first I'm going to talk about my thoughts on Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving, growing up, was always a really happy, exciting time for me. I got to, that was like one of the few times a year that I got to go up to Seattle with my family and see my cousins, uh, who are, one is my age and one is two years younger, and they are both delightful, and I love them dearly, and also my aunt and uncle are great. I love them too. And so Thanksgiving was a great time growing up because it was time spent with family and time of fellowship and food and also playing video games and watching movies and just like hanging out and relaxing. And then Thanksgiving for the last four years was in college and the first two years I had my sister at school with me so it was still time spent with family but then the last two years I went to home with my roommate uh, to her family who's kind of my second family now which is a good time but it, it, the last four years, Thanksgiving hasn't really felt like normal to me because I, I like my rhythm of the holidays has been disrupted, and I'm very much a person who enjoys tradition and keeping things the way that they are. Trying new things occasionally, but like I'm a big traditionalist when it comes to the holidays, and so for the last four years, Thanksgiving has kind of been like a weird time where I'm like, you know, I'm not really having that great of a time because turkey's not my favorite food. It's not the worst, but like I'm way more excited about the sides and it's just, uh, it's just not my thing. And also like coming back from Thanksgiving, it was tech week for the Christmas concert that Gustavus has every year. And then it would be tech week for whatever December show was happening in the theater dance department. And then there were like, four day, two, three, three days of classes, and then it was finals, and then it was Christmas. So like, anticipating Thanksgiving was, like, knowing all of the things that had to happen afterwards was just a big stressful time. And I got to use Thanksgiving occasionally, I think a few years, for like, catching up on projects and homework and stuff, but in my later years it just became a big stress fest. So Thanksgiving uh, is, it has its ups and downs for me, but yeah, you know. But the one thing that I do appreciate about having Thanksgiving as a holiday is that it gives us a like specific day to reflect on what we're thankful for and the many blessings that we have in our lives. Uh, so this Thanksgiving, I am I'm encouraging you to reflect on all of the good things in your life that you are so thankful for every day. Uh, and just keep that in mind that not everything in life is uh, like guaranteed. Everything is in flux and people and places and things that you love may not be here tomorrow. And so you need to be thankful for them while they are here. Uh, yeah. So now my thoughts on Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year and I am one of those people that just like loves Christmas. I am a purist though when it comes to respecting Thanksgiving and Christmas as separate things. Like I don't do Christmas before Thanksgiving happens. That's until like literally a couple minutes ago like I went shopping for Christmas decorations um, pre-Thanksgiving, and that is not my norm, but our apartment is not Christmassy yet, and 
my one of my roommates just loves Christmas and has been we've been fighting ourselves to not listen to Christmas music in the house because I believe that you don't listen to Christmas music until Thanksgiving has ended. Once it's Black Friday you can listen to it all you want. That doesn't matter. But anyway, so I bought Christmas decorations today and we haven't decorated yet but and this is the first time that I'm going before Thanksgiving for Christmas things. But I believe that Christmas is like needs to be after Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is an important holiday and you need to like acknowledge it. But once Thanksgiving's over, I go a whole hog for Christmas because I love Christmas decorating and Christmas cookies and carols and the church service and candlelight and also just the season of Advent in the Lutheran Church is great and uh, giving gifts and receiving gifts and like it's just a fun good holiday. Um, because I do carry a faith uh, my favorite day is actually Christmas Eve, uh, so the 24th, because our uh, church, we have a candlelight uh, Christmas Eve service every year. And at that Christmas Eve service, the handbells play and the carol, the choir sings, and that's when we sing all of the Christmas carols uh, in like one service, because there's just, because like in the order of a service, there's like the gathering hymn and the communion hymns and the hymn of the day and the um freaking sending hymn but on christmas eve there's like the opening hymn and then we have some words and then you just sing a christmas carol and then you keep going with the service and they just like throw christmas carols in because it's the one time a year that we can sing all the christmas music that's also another reason that i love christmas it it is a holiday that has music for it I mean, Easter does too, because it's a church holiday and so there are hymns, but like there's both secular and church music for Christmas and that just makes me really happy that everyone embraces Christmas. Um, but yeah, the 24th and the, the candlelight service is my favorite because that's, for me, that's when Christmas happens. That's also how our family, that's the day that our family like really acknowledges Christmas happening because we you know, the, I mean the tree is already decorated, but we like get dressed up and we eat a fancy meal of steak and crab cakes and then we go over to church and we do church service and then we come back and we read, we reread the Christmas story again from whatever liturgical year it is, it, like it's supposed to be read from, unless it's always from Luke and then I'm just going to be wrong, correct me in the comments. Um, and then we have a tradition where, because we have a really large Christmas tree, we hold hands and walk around the Christmas tree and sing Christmas carols. And then we always end with, we wish we Merry Christmas. And then we sit down, we open all our gifts, and then we, uh, go eat pie, which in our family is Jesus's birthday cake, because pie is great, and none of us really like cake all that much. And my dad makes great pie, so yeah and then if people are awake enough which is usually just me um we go at downstairs and watch um up at christmas carol so yeah christmas is great um my battery's about to die so give me a hot minute and i'll get right back lastly i'm going to talk about my thoughts on new year's uh, so obviously people celebrate new year's eve the 31st of december uh, and then New Year's Day, January 1st, except for Chinese New Year, which is celebrated on a different day, and I don't know when that is off the top of my head. So we're going to talk about the uh, New Year's of the 23rd to, or nope, the 31st, there we go, to the 1st. Uh, growing up, I we had a big old New Year's Eve party at our house where we invited all of our family friends over, um, my parents' friends that had kids our age, my sisters my age, and it was just a big old party, family gathering, or friend gathering, rather, and played games, and ate food, and you know, watched the ball drop in New York City on TV, because we're on the West Coast, and then just, you know, a lot of hanging out. Um, 
And lately I haven't really celebrated New Year's, but I know that a lot of people use New Year's as a time to reflect on how they can improve their lives. And the, uh, for the last few years, I haven't really had a New Year's resolution. Um, I have taken, I, each January that I was in college, um, because Gustavus has a thing called J-Term, also known as January Term, or the January Interim Experience, which is where you just take one class for all of January. So for four weeks, you're just studying one thing. And it, the class hours vary depending on the course. So you can have like a two hour class or a four hour class, or what I did, which is I took the costuming class every January. So I was in the costume shop from 9.30 to 4.30 every day with an hour for lunch. Um, and I didn't have homework, except for senior year and junior year. Junior year I was designing the musical, and so obviously I had to do designer things in the evenings. And then senior year was draping, and I was doing an independent study, and I just made too much work for myself, because that's the kind of person that I am. Um, <laughs> but every day after class would get out, I took the opportunity of not having musical ensembles and uh, no homework to, like, because I had so much free time in the evenings, I took that chance to work out frequently. So I would work out usually four to five days a week, which is a big change compared to my semesters where I worked out zero days a week. <laughs> because um, I just didn't have time or didn't make time because I needed to sleep and do other things. Um, so my New Year's resolution in college was working out, but like, I, I don't know, it ended in January. So it was really just a January project and I was totally fine with that. But this year, uh, in addition, in addition to uh, going to the gym more than I frequently than I currently do because right now I exercise two to three times a week which is fine uh, but I would like to do it more um, because I feel like it would be healthier for me and now that I am at a point in my life where all I do is work and then have evening activities I can easily fit a workout into my schedule um, and so I because I am currently going to a gym with a friend and she's allowed to be a guest and free of charge and so I don't have to pay for a gym membership right now but it, when I start going in January I will get my own gym membership and then be able to go whenever I want. Um, but in, in addition to that, my New Year's resolution this year, or for 2018, is that I'm going to try to reduce uh, my use of plastics in my life. And that is not to say that I will take everything plastic out because there are a lot of things that I really appreciate that come in plastic packaging. But there are a lot of, like, spe uh, especially food packaging that I can not have to buy. Like, I don't need to buy processed food. I can cook using whole bulk ingredients and then put them in glass containers and I can make my own bread and it's going to be a lot more work but it's going to be better for the environment in the long run. And I just want to, like, because God has blessed us with this beautiful planet to live on um, and we're killing it quickly, not killing it slowly, we're killing it quickly, uh, I would like to do my part to reduce the amount that I'm killing the earth. Um, like I said, I'm not going to do it completely because, like, I know there are a lot of people who do, like, a zero waste or a minimal waste lifestyle, and that includes uh, hygiene and beauty products, and those are things that I'm not willing to sacrifice out of my routine yet because I really like my shampoo that I use and all of the makeup that I have comes in plastic applicators. Um, so, you know. I'm working one thing at a time, but out of food usage, I can definitely cut out a lot of plastic. So that is my New Year's resolution for this year, for 2018. <laughs>
All right, that is all of my thoughts on the holidays as a whole. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you take the time to reflect on what you're thankful for and all the blessings that are in your life on Thanksgiving. I hope that you keep your winter holiday of your choice uh, however you want. Be merry and bright. Uh, merry Christmas to those who celebrate it. And then happy Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all of the other holidays. Ramadan, that's another one. Happy all of those holidays to the rest of you. And uh, let's make 2018 a great year. Because uh, 2017 has been an adventure. 2016 was nicknamed a dumpster fire. 2017 has been like pretty hot garbage in my opinion. So like, let's make it not anything related to garbage. Let's make it, you know, if not great or amazing, let's just make it neutral. We could do that. Uh, but let's all work together to make 2018 a good year. Please like this video to let me know you enjoyed your time here. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all on the flip flop.